Hey guys, uh, this is Red Gamer Tech's Murasaki. Uh, this is going to be my first kind of overview of the new Darkstalkers game. Okay, I am playing, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, the PlayStation Network version. Okay, so we're just going to go through the options and just kind of see what this game has to offer. Um, so first of all, this game is Darkstalkers 2 and Darkstalkers 3. Okay. So, as you can see with the options, we've got single player, multiplayer, ranking, boards, awards, vault, help an option, PlayStation Store. Uh, in the PlayStation Store, you should be able to buy like new costumes, new colors, stages, uh, etc. Whatever um, kind of like the, the fan base want for the game, um, the developers will do their best. Uh, this is kind of similar setup to uh, Street Fighter Third Strike Online Edition, um, which was released. Uh, last year um, which they had high level replays of uh, some of the top players and things like that okay so if we go help and options we've got settings controls how to play credits okay uh, so obviously in the credits it'll just bring up uh, the developers of the game and things like that okay in how to play uh, it brings you through uh, movement crouch standing guard jumping crouching guard okay at the top you see it says how to play basic moves uh, on the right hand side in the box uh, it gives you the directions uh, <clears throat> and it gives you a little breakdown on um, how to do certain things if you press the L and R buttons uh, it also goes to advanced moves so it will explain meal building specials OTG overhead cross-ups okay again on the right hand side just giving a little breakdown uh, of what you can expect to see or how to do it okay with the controls <clears throat> Uh, is saying uh, all the button inputs okay um, I really like the format that Darkstalkers uh, is using because basically you press the button to which button you want to bind it to okay so it's it effectively button binds the button to the desired output that you want so if I want my jab button to be circle all I do is press circle uh, and then it changes it from there okay uh, I think it's really really good for like tournament situations uh, things like that as it allows all the players to kind of like set up their buttons quickly without messing about uh, with finding the correct input for example uh, Super Street Fighter 4 uh, can be a bit tedious okay and annoying so going further in we're going to settings uh, we've got music sound effects view filter scan lines high resolution uh, you can mess about with some of these to get different effects uh, of the game okay um, you can adjust the screen size so if you want to make it smaller or bigger depending on how your screen displays the actual picture of, of the game um, come back out okay we can go into vault uh, in the vault again similar setup to uh, Street Fighter Third Strike online edition uh, in that you will get points for certain things that you do um, so as you can see again you can look up uh, and break it down with the LNR buttons into Night Warriors, which is Dark Stalker 2 and Dark Stalkers 3. Okay, uh, and it has different content for you to unlock. Uh, with the awards, again, this is just kind of like your achievement system. So, as you can see, uh, A Class Hunter, finish arcade mode in Night Warriors, Dark Stalkers 2, um, finish arcade mode in Dark Stalkers 3. Okay, uh, and you get a certain amount of experience points which again can be used to help you uh, unlock things in the vault. Uh, on the ranking boards, uh, it will just give you a breakdown on like the best players, uh, the amount of points they've got, and basically how you rank uh, in the world rankings or which area do you decide to look at. Uh, we also have the multiplayer. Uh, in the multiplayer, you can have a local match, so someone playing beside you, ranked match, quick match, player match, tournament, replays, invites and matchmaking options, okay? Uh, if we have a look at the matchmaking options, we have a GGPO delay, okay? So basically, uh, a higher number will result in a less character popping, okay? But add more delay to your inputs. So basically, the GGPO uh, stops you from seeing lag um, that is happening, especially if you're playing with people who are very far away. Uh, you can also do regional matchmaking, so you can have people in the same region or any, so anywhere around the world. Skill matchmaking, exactly the same thing, so you can play with people who are higher or lower than you, or people of roughly the same skill. Uh, ping threshold, this is important if you don't want laggy games, okay? Try and get uh, the ping uh, as low as possible. 
right, for the best online experience. Um, you go to replays, you can see like your own replay, so my replay online, uh, watch with friends, so you can kind of set up like a little uh, room and to see all the people um, and watch your replays, okay, if there's anything cool that you did. Uh, in the tournament, join tournament, create your own tournament, okay, I'm assuming, uh, again, this is like third strike online um, and super street fighter 4 arcade edition and that you can have about eight players in the lobby okay um, so we come up here right, it's a single player so we've got arcade mode this is the original arcade mode uh, that would have been played <coughs> so initially you'll go for about uh, eight characters and it will uncover the story of your character okay with the character ending we have training mode uh, and we have challenges okay um, with the challenges, again, it's exactly like Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. You kind of select your character uh, and it'll give you a breakdown from chapter 1 to 5 on certain combinations and setups you can do. Uh, I really, really advise using the challenges mode as um, it can help you grasp uh, the concept of the game mechanics. Okay, uh, training mode. Go into training mode, have a little look. Again, you can select your character. Uh, whoever you want to be, let's go with uh, Bishamon. Okay, versus Donovan. And you select your stage, whatever you want to do. Okay, so as you can see, like any normal training mode, uh, it's got normal. It also has a nice recording feature. So if there is a certain tactic or setup that is being used against you, you can try and record, recreate it, uh, and find ways in how to counter it. Uh, dummy settings. Which is, normal things standing crouching jumping anything you want to do uh, you can also get the dummy to guard uh, grab escape and tech roll uh, there's also training training options so you can have infinite special gauge um, it also has the turbo setting so again effectively this is the speed of which the game runs uh, you can have attack data on and off uh, and so that's going to tell you basically the amount of damage that single move or combo does uh, you can also have key inputs okay so now if we're going to training mode and i press a light punch a blue fist comes up on the screen uh, again if i press medium kick it should be yellow okay here we go uh, and also you can see all the directions okay so if you're there uh, and you're finding it hard to execute a move uh, have a look through the commands to see if you are actually doing the whole movement okay now you can also help in options which brings down settings, controls, how to play credits. Uh, the character moves list, okay, again, this is very uh, important, so you know the moves, um, and as the setup has been before, on the left-hand side, it gives you a breakdown of the motion and the buttons you need to press, and on the right-hand side, it just gives you a breakdown of what it is uh, and kind of what it does, and if it costs any super bar, okay? Let's just go out of here. Okay, so that is Dark Stalkers 2. Okay, um, if you want to access Dark Stalkers 3, all you have to do is press the select button, uh, and I'm assuming the back button on uh, Xbox Live, um, and it will load you straight into Dark Stalkers 3. Uh, this is very fast, very smooth, it doesn't take too long. And the ex options are exactly the same and the layout is exactly the same, okay? Uh, the only difference being the character select screen, um, maybe a couple of uh, game mechanic changes, but also you have, you have more characters in this version, okay? Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.